Okay, so working on the actual overdrive unit. <clears throat> Here's your instructions. Um, it's got a template that I already cut out from the first page. It says right here to cut that template out and put it right there. And it just kind of sits straight down the back. So I've already done that right there. I don't know what those little notches are for down there, why they put those in there. I kind of was thinking before I cut it out, it would line up with something on the kayak, but it doesn't. So I'm guessing that's where it goes. That's where I'm going to mark my holes and drill them, those four holes. They're kind of high, it looks like, but I guess that's what it's for. And then this piece will go into there. That's what your overdrive unit falls into. So I'm going to go ahead and do that part now. I hope that's right, and I don't have to drill any extra holes that I don't need to. Okay, so I uh, went ahead and got that bracket installed after I drilled my holes with my template. That wasn't too bad. Um, that goes down, so when you put the unit in, it kind of nose dives underneath it. No big deal. This right here is pretty self-explanatory. The instructions are very straightforward on the actual overdrive unit, so no problem there. We did go ahead and use the shims, like it said, and put them in there. Um, one thing you can also note, if you can see it, that right there is a bump stop top rubber thing. So you can adjust that so that it hits just right. I might need to adjust that some more. So it's, it fits in there pretty good. Carson's got his light on it. So uh, everything looks good so far. Um, the cranks are left and right. If you look at them, they're pretty beefy. They're not like what you find on your little bicycle. So um, anyway, Carson is here and uh, he's gonna go ahead and put this other crank on for me. That's gonna be his contribution. The only thing he does probably. We're gonna have to um, take the foot pedals off because we've already figured out that they won't do a full rotation with those in the way. So I gotta, I gotta figure that out. Here, just a minute. I may just move them up out of the way because I'm not real sure when we get ready to the do the hand control what to do with this cable. Um, and that'll be the third part of this series of videos when I do that later tonight, which is probably gonna be the hardest part. So far so good on the overdrive unit though. It's pretty straightforward and it fit in there really well. Oh yeah.